All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we got some deals, so let's get into it. All right, but first, before we do that, I just want to say if you get any value from my videos, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed, like, comment, share. That would be awesome. Leave a tip. I, I'm sorry. Look, I have to give somebody a shout out. I, YouTube is weird. It won't let me go back. Once I respond to you, Like it's like the comment is gone forever. But somebody left me a $50 tip. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. He was able to get the flex deal. I'm so happy you were able to. A lot of us weren't. I could have multiple times. I just didn't. I tell that story in the Lowe's video that's coming up later on today. But I appreciate you very, 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 very much. All right. So let's get into it. So over at Home Depot, they have special buys of the day. I know I didn't see the special buys yesterday or make a comment or a video on it, rather. Uh, because I had to go out to Wichita and I wanted to get the Harbor Freight stuff out of the way. But we got a whole bunch of stuff going on. I have no experience with these Graco spray paint sprayers. I, I use a Fuji Q5 Platinum personally. Uh, they expensive as I don't know what, but I have no experience with these. These are <clears throat> much less money. Um, so I don't know. If you have experience with these Graco's, let us know. Uh, you know, I don't. I'm, I'm not gonna comment on them because I don't know. Uh, this paint stuff, paint rollers, this is an expensive paint roller. I mean, I haven't bought a paint roller in over 10 years. Mine are fine. Just make sure you get one that's balanced, slightly heavy handle. So when your roller is full of paint, you know, it's nice and balanced. It's less fatigue on your hand. Those ones are real light handles. Once that roller gets on there, ugh, the fatigue on your wrist and your hand is, is, is a lot. All right, but moving on to these ladders. These ladders are expensive. This is not a deal. I can't remember how much I paid for my gorilla ladder that does it's like a this five in one or whatever, but it wasn't a lot of money. I know that. It might have been like around $100 more or less. It could have been like 89 or no more than 109. I know that. Uh and even this this gorilla this this, this I don't know why I even have this, this little work platform. I mean, it, it helps okay when you're trying to do exactly what this dude is doing. Get up high, but the, it's a low ceiling, and you can just walk across without having to move the ladder every step. But um, I paid $30-something for this thing from Home Depot like two years ago. $90? <laughs> I have no experience with Olympic paint. You guys let us know whether it's good if you use it, because this is some cheap paint. I use Bare. And now that, that's like thirty, forty dollars a pop right there, but it lasts. It's good paint though. And uh, anyway, damp red. This is a pretty good deal on a damp red though. Anyway, moving on. Let's let's get out of here. Let's go to the good stuff. All right. So over at Direct Tools, this is mostly what we have going on today. Direct Tools. We have um, Ryobi has some deals on some pressure washers now. Most people are saying beware of the Honda motor, but honestly, this is a different Honda motor that everyone was complaining about. There were issues with the carburetor, and I think it was on a 3200 PSI one. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't look like this. So I don't know if this is a new one or an old one, but the one everybody is complaining about, uh, it doesn't look like this. It, it says Honda on the top, and it's in green. doesn't look like this one. So I have no idea uh, about this one, but I will say when you go over to Home Depot, this mug is like seven hundred something dollars. So yeah, pretty inexpensive, and they'll ship this to your house. This is tempting, but I don't need a gas pressure washer or anything like that. So yeah, you know, yeah, this is commercial Honda GX two hundred. I have to look up the motor. I would suggest you do that if you are considering this. This is the one I have. Um, no, not this one. This is smaller than this, but bigger than this one, smaller than this one. It's actually on sale as a reconditioning unit for $69, but I don't recommend anything reconditioned from these guys. I've heard horror stories. So anyway, this is $349 down from seven something. So you're getting $400 off, just about. Then you have this other one. Uh, that's 170 more tempting but you know unfortunately they don't ship to home so if you live near direct tools this could be incredible now this has the ryobi 212 cc motor i have not seen one complaint about this now i went through three pages of reviews all of the complaints were mostly on the honda motor but not the one i showed you or the kohler motor 
and they were having issues with the carburetor. But I hadn't seen anybody have an issue with the Ryobi motors, surprisingly. So 169 now that is an incredible deal because I paid like 120 for mine, maybe 129 So 30 40 extra dollars extra, you get all this, 3,200 PSI. Now, mine is electric. I prefer that. I prefer not to run it off gas, but hey, this right here, mm, it, it, that's a nice little unit right there. If they ship this to home, I'd have bought it. 349 is a lot to be like, ooh, impulsive buy, you know what I'm saying? But the 169, no, I'd have did that. All right, moving on. We have this clamp fan. Looks like a deal, right? But it's only $25 from Home Depot. And after you even paid shipping, if you're only getting this one thing, you might as well got it from Home Depot and get it in a few days because it's going to take a month or so to come to you. So, whap, let's get that out of there. This telescoping power scrubber, they have this like as a small hand unit too. But uh, at Home Depot, it's on sale for $99 even. And again, shipping is like $12, $13 now. I mean, it's still cheap. You save like $15. But again, if you needed it in a, like soon, just get it from Home Depot. I mean, this is, you know, I don't know. It's okay. I'll leave it up just in case you want it. Um, now, I didn't look up this misting fan. Uh, you hook a hose up to it, apparently, which is wild. I mean, <laughs> I guess you'd be outside on the porch with this on. You know, I don't, I don't know. I love to see this thing in action. But it's $40. I have no idea how much this costs over at Home Depot. Let's Let's find out real quick i'd imagine it's probably around 40 dollars. i mean it is yeah it's 60 dollars, but they don't have any in stock you can't buy them i wonder why that's weird mm, yeah well i don't know if you can find one in store i'd probably say get the one in store because what was it what was it 49 i, I mean it was 39 i mean it's gonna be 50 something dollars after shipping i don't know that probably is better i don't know Whatever. <clears throat> the, the thing is, you don't have the same return policy if this thing sucks. So I, for that, about the money, I would say go get try to find it in store. But they don't sell them anymore, and that makes me curious. Uh, yeah, oh, and they, I just realized they don't ship to home. I don't know if that just changed or whether that was always like that. But, yeah, if you got to drive somewhere, just drive to Home Depot. Yoink, we can get that out of there, too. All right, so they have this Ryobi inflator now this is normally like 70 dollars at home depot i don't know if it's on sale now um let's check but for 35 dollars, i actually still don't recommend it i paid 40 for mine from direct tools and i bought two of them oh yeah it's on sale for 60 dollars um all right now see even that makes a little difference 60 dollars that's a 25 dollar difference well basically uh 14 16 dollar difference because of the shipping um the, the issue with this is i was going to try to convert this so we can use it as a 12 volt to the cigarette lighter but that avoid the warranty of course and that kind of defeats the whole purpose me personally at this price i will go bauer i personally will even with this 90 day warranty i will go bauer because this thing you know, can be run off battery or plugged into the cigarette lighter. Uh, and now keep in mind with Harbor Freight, they do have a deal if you live near one. It's in store only if you buy the tool, any battery. Oh, no, no, no. This is different. Uh, it's, okay, so tool, any battery, any charger, you get $20 off. And the way I did this yesterday, I think I did a 5 amp hour battery and a rapid charger, and it came with $99. So. Uh, for less than that, you might be able to get less than that. Um, you know, you're looking at a decent little deal there. I mean, I like the fact that it runs off battery and, and cigarette lighter. So I would probably do that. I would definitely do that over the Ryobi. You know, Ryobi doesn't have lifetime warranty. The rigid, uh, if you could find the rigid on sale and get that cheap, I'd probably go that route just because of the lifetime warranty. But again, that 12 volt, uh, cord has no onboard storage. You're going to have to strap it to it somehow. And that does get annoying. Moving on, we have this rigid uh, fan. Now, let's go see how much this is at Home Depot because everything at Home Depot seems to be on price. Excuse me. seems to be on sale, uh, and it's $70. All right, cool. So we come back over here, and this thing is $40. 
plus shipping is going to be 50 something dollars. Eh, you know, sorry. Sorry deal, but I do like it because it's hybrid. You can plug it in or run it off battery. So that is good. Then we have this Ryobi work light again. <laughs> I didn't double check this stuff with Home Depot because usually this stuff is more expensive, but today it seems like everything is pretty cheap. Now that's $80. No, no, it came with batteries. No, 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 two only, $80. Uh, you do get it free though if you buy these batteries, but I wouldn't recommend buying these batteries. You want the, the high output ones. So $40, uh, again, you know, plus $13 shipping. Uh, I like it again because it is hybrid. It could be plugged in or run off of battery. I think this does 1,800 lumens. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot for this little light. I don't recall. Oh, we didn't look up any other lights. That was a fan. I had a rigid light up too, and I, I, I closed it because it wasn't a hybrid. But yeah, 1,800 lumens. It's pretty bright. It's pretty bright. That's why it's $70 at Home Depot. So that is that. And finally, we have two more deals. I'm actually saving the best for last. Uh, now we have a Makita. I don't know if this is a good deal. I have no experience with Makita anything. But 119 for the impact driver, a 4.5 battery, a charger, and a bag seems like a pretty good deal to me from a brand like Makita. Metabo HPT for their triple hammer. I mean, you could find on clearance for 111, but this seemed like it's a pretty good deal. You guys let me know it is a brushless and all that. It's not a brush version, but Makita has like 19 impact drivers, not just period. I mean, like out right now that you could buy, and I have no idea what all the differences it are. It's just it's too much to keep up with. I don't like all that simplicity. Just one or two, a brush version and the brushless version please or just a brushless version and like a you know a, a low-end model and a high-end model that's all we need i don't know why they have 47 of them but you let us know if this is a good deal it's the one that does 1500 inch pounds another one that does 1550 you know and they look identical i don't know i don't know but last but not least this m12 fuel impact driver speaking of impact drivers i know this one's good i use it all the time uh, I never have needed to touch my Milwaukee M18. I just did it for that video, but I always use this. And that 1,300 inch pounds is always enough, in my experience. It's always enough. And I love this little thing. $79. I, I didn't see this advertised anywhere. I really found it by mistake this morning. But $79, I'm telling y'all, that is a good deal. Usually during the holiday, Milwaukee will have like $79 deals but they're all on brush tools and they're like odd tools that you wouldn't really use, but might come in handy sometimes like the uh, right angle drill, you know, it's, that was $79 and one bad, but this bad boy right here, $79. Great, great deal. I'm going to leave with this for the thumbnail and we're done for the day. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to make the lowest video after I eat breakfast.